congratulations if you ended up picking up a Google Pixel 7. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to utilize your specific Google Pixel. It's a very, very basic process. It's not anything crazy. So hopefully you went ahead and you know are super happy with it. And luckily for you, like I said, if you've ever used any other Android phone or really any other phone in the most part, you should know how to use this one. Now I've already went through the initial setup, but it's a very basic process nowadays. You just type in your Gmail account and then you're pretty much good to go from there. Now when your phone is off, I'll go and show you a quick breakdown of the outside. So on the front, you have a 6.3 inch AMOLED display. It's a 90 hertz panel, it's 1080p, and it is a very, very good looking panel for the price tag at $599. Now, this is not a curved panel, so it's a flat display, which looks really good. On the left side, you don't really have anything except for a SIM card tray, which I'll show you how to check that in a second. Up top, you don't really have anything except a microphone. On the bottom, you have your USB type C charging port, as well as a speaker grill. So this is where you can go ahead and charge up your phone if you're using a wire charger. This phone also supports wireless charging and reverse wireless charging as well. Now on the right side, we have our volume buttons. So here we can go and you know increase and decrease our volume with these buttons. And this button is our you know power button, Google Assistant button as well. So this is a really good button. It kind of doubles for a lot of things. On top, like I mentioned, just microphone. And on the back, we have our glass back. Now up top, first of all, starting off there, we have our dual camera setup. So we have, you know, the wide and ultra wide, you know, camera. We have our flash as well as a microphone right there too. And we have our glass back. So there's like two different sets of the glass back, one up top and one at the bottom. Now this phone supports wireless charging, like I mentioned. It also supports reverse wireless charging. So if you want to go ahead and charge up a different device, we can go ahead and do that with this device as well, which is really cool. So that pretty much covers it up on the outside. Now, like I mentioned, you have the ability of ejecting your SIM card tray. So some phones nowadays do not have SIM card trays. And this one luckily does for us. Now, within the box, you should have gotten a little SIM card eject tool, which looks something along the lines of this. Now, you don't have to use this. You can use a small pin, anything that can fit into this little tiny hole right here. Now, if I go and basically zoom in for a second, you should be able to see it a little bit closer. Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put this specific pin that we have on this side right here and this little hole right there. So if you go and kind of slide it into place like this, you can go and click it in. And then once you kind of click it in, you kind of have to put a little bit of pressure into it, but nothing crazy. You should be able to see the little, you know, eject, SIM card eject thing come out. Now you just kind of want to like put your, you know, kind of nail behind it. And you can go and actually eject this specific SIM card tray like this. Now all you have to do is put in your SIM card tray exactly where it tells you. And that is it. Once it's in, you can go ahead and line up this specific hole right here, little like tiny hole right here, to this one again. Make sure your SIM card, you know, tray is put in fully. And then you can go and slide it back into place like this, and that is it. So sometimes you kind of have to kind of mess with it a little bit, but all you have to do is press it in, slide it into place, and that is it. You've now put your SIM card tray inside of your Pixel 7, and you are now pretty much good to go. Now on the front, like I said, you have your display. It's a touch screen everything. I think everybody knows that by now. Now on top of the display, you have your front-facing camera. So that is really cool. Now, there's a few different ways you can turn on your Pixel 7. You can click the you know button, the power button like I mentioned up here before. You can click it to turn it off. But you can also go ahead and double tap the display to actually turn on your phone if it's still you know open. If you fully powered it off, that's different. But if you want to go ahead and just quickly turn on and turn off the display, you can double tap the display to turn it on. Looks like you can't double tap it to turn it off, but it's still okay. So within the main display right here, if we go and double tap it, you will basically have your fingerprint sensor actually built into the display here. If you set it up before, you can go and place your fingerprint sensor here. It'll go in and unlock it. If we go and click it over here again, up top, you have your notification drawer. So you can go ahead and see all your notifications right up here. But up top also, you'll have your little status bar. So it'll basically tell you, you know, what service you have up here on the left side. On the right side, you'll see your battery percentage, Wi-Fi icon, some other things up there too, which is really cool. Up here, you'll have the time. You'll basically have your date of your weather too. And right here, you'll see all the notifications that you have, which is really cool. Now swiping up, if you're not too familiar, a lot of Android phones nowadays have gestures. So you can swipe up to open and you'll come straight into your main panel of your specific display. Now this is your home screen. So up top, like I mentioned, you have your status bar. If you swipe down from the status bar, you'll basically come into your notification drawer, kind of similar to your status, you know, your home screen, but not really. If you go and see your notifications here, you can go and manage it. You can go and click clear all, you can clear all the notifications out. You can also swipe down once more and you'll see your quick toggles up here. Now here's some quick toggles. You can go and turn and on off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, do not disturb mode, flashlight, some other cool stuff. But swiping down once more, you'll come into your main quick toggle screen. So here you, up here, you can go and basically, you know, turn up and down the brightness, which is really cool. You have a lot more toggles here. You can go and swipe to the side and add more. You have your edit button up here too, so you can add more toggles if you want to. Down here, you can quickly get into your settings panel and you can quickly turn on and off your phone completely. 
So if you want to power off your phone, if you want to restart your phone, you can do that by clicking this little power icon down here. Now swiping up will basically come down here, and swiping up will come back to our home screen. Now within our home screen, we have our wallpaper which we can change, we have widgets we can add or disable, and we have our app icons. Now at the bottom we have this little Google search bar, so you can always quickly search into Google and quickly take you know Google Scan or go into a microphone there too if you want to you know talk to Google there. But you can also swipe up to get into your main app drawer. So I'll show you again swiping up from your home screen. You'll basically see all of the apps that are on your phone. So here what you can do is you can search for applications. All the apps that you have on your phone are here. So you can quickly search through them. You can do whatever you want to. You can click up here and search within your phone itself. You can also search within Google there too. Swiping back down, you'll basically come into this panel. Now you can delete applications if you want to from your home screen by holding them down just like this. And you can go and hold it down and you can go ahead and move the application if you want to just like this. You can also swipe up and remove the application if you don't want it there. So as you can see there, it's very easy to kind of maneuver around. You can also hold down an application and move it to a different page. You can make another page for that application by swiping to the side. You can also bring it back to your main page here. And that is basically how you kind of move your applications. Now let's say you make your way over to an application like phone calls for example. Well let's say you go into phone calls, you want to make a phone call, you click here. But let's say you want to go back home. Well, Google Pixels have a gesture-based design nowadays. So there's no home button, there's no like back button really. As you can see, there's a little bar at the bottom. So with gestures within a Google Pixel, you all you have to do is go and grab this little bar and kind of swing, swing it away, and you'll always come back to your home screen. So if you're in Google Messages, you grab that bar, you swing it up, and you'll basically come into your home screen right there. So it's a very easy way to kind of maneuver through, just kind of get used to swiping up to basically go back home. Now, if you want to go ahead and go swing between applications, so let's say I'm in the phone call panel and I want to go into messages. Well, instead of going back home and then clicking here, if I just opened up that application, I can actually grab this bar and I can swing it between these two specific applications like this. So it's kind of an easy app, you know, way to kind of maneuver through your phone. Now you can also get into your recents panel by kind of grabbing this and instead of swinging it up all the way, you kind of grab it and stop about like a fourth of the way up the panel and you'll come into this panel. Now here you can go and swing between your applications, you can also swipe out of an application by swiping up, you can also clear all. That kind of helps to manage some RAM in the background, but you don't really have to do it if you don't want to, but it's still another thing that you have the ability of doing. Now another thing I'll go ahead and show you, now that we have like gestures and everything figured out, is within our Google Play Store. So if you ever want to download any applications, you'll always go through the Google Play Store. You should already have your account set up and everything if you already sign into your account. So here what you have to do is basically come here and you can basically download any application that you want to. So let's say you want to go and search for something like, you know, Clash of Clans. Let's say it wasn't here. Well, what you can do is click here and you can download it, but you can also swipe back by clicking in the back button here, or you can also grab the gesture based design and grab it to the side there. But you can click up here and you can search for these applications. So let's say somebody's talking to you about Clash of Clans and you want to download it. Well, using the keyboard, you want to go and type in Clash of Clans. You can search for it like that. And as you can see, I didn't type it right. But I'll find it right here, but let's say it was Clash Royale or whatever. But what you can do is you can go and click here, click install, and now you can go and install these applications onto your phone. So really this is the same way with any Android phone. If you know how to do it with one, you basically know how to do it with all of them, which is so awesome. Now making our way back, another thing we can do within our Android phone is updating our applications. So up top we have a little profile icon up there. What I would recommend doing is clicking up here, clicking on manage apps and devices or whatever, and you'll come into this panel and you can click manage and you'll see all the applications that you have. But you can also see updates available right there. And here what you can do is you can update these applications if you really want to. So you can click on each individual application, you can click update if you want to, but you can also go ahead and click choose all. And you can choose all the applications you want to and you can go and update them this way too, which is so cool. Now swiping back home, we'll basically come into our main panel once more. Now, if you want to go ahead and change up your wallpaper, change up your widgets, you can go ahead and hold down on the lock screen like this, and you'll come into this panel. Now you can go and choose wallpaper and style, and within Android 13, especially with Android 12, you're able to customize a lot of different things within your phone. So here you can go and change your wallpaper, you can change your wallpaper colors, you can enable your dark theme, you can do themed icons, you can change your app grid as well. If you're not super familiar and not comfortable with it, you can always just keep it as it is, but this is another thing you can do. So I'll back up, another big application that you have to know about is settings. So what I recommend doing is swiping back up, going into your settings application, which is right there. And this is an application I would highly recommend you getting comfortable with. Now, I don't have, you know, I've said, if I were to go through each individual application or setting here, it would take like three hours. But a lot of this stuff is pretty basic. Network and internet, have, you know, apps and notifications, battery storage, sound and vibration, display, wallpaper and style. There's a lot of different things here. Security and privacy are up here as well. 
But one of the more important ones that I would recommend you getting used to is with under is basically within system. So if you click on system here, you'll basically see a bunch of stuff. But here, what you want to do is click on system update. Now, if you ever get an update, I would recommend installing it. So because the Pixel 7 is a brand new phone, there's going to be updates all the time. So what I would recommend doing is going through and clicking on system update and basically updating your Pixel 7 whenever you get the chance to. The first day you buy it, I would recommend updating it. But sometimes your phone will tell you if there's an update, but if not, you can come into this panel maybe like once every few weeks, see if there's an update and install the update if you really want to. I would highly recommend doing that. Now swapping back out and swapping back out again, if you ever have any questions or you're looking for any specific thing within your Pixel 7, what I would recommend doing is clicking on search settings. So what you can do is click on search settings and let's say somebody's talking about dark mode, like you want to really you know, turn on dark theme on your specific phone. Well, you can start typing in dark just like this and you should be able to see toggle start coming up. And you can see dark theme, you can say, oh, like that's what I want to enable. You toggle it on and you'll see dark theme, you will be enabled. Now typically I don't really like keeping dark theme because it looks better on video for a white theme, but that's an example. You can go and type in really anything you want to in this specific page and it'll go and give you some prompts. So if you ever have any questions or anything like that, you can comment in the comment section and people will help you, or you can go ahead and just search it up within settings and there should be, you know, some visible, you know, toggle you can go and toggle on or off. Now swiping back out, the final thing I'll go and show you is actually within the toggle panel itself. So like I mentioned, if we swipe down once more, we swipe down again. What I would recommend doing is actually going through here and just customizing these toggles if you want to. So click on the pencil icon right there and you'll basically come here. Now there are a bunch of toggles you can go and add if you want to. So what I recommend doing is adding all the toggles that you have here, bringing them up here, and that's basically another thing you can do. Now swiping back up, we'll come back home, and hopefully now you have a decent understanding of how to use your Google Pixel 7. There's a lot of different information here, and honestly, the more you use it, the more it'll just kind of come to you, to be honest. So if you have any questions at all, you have any thoughts or anything like that, you can leave those thoughts in the comment section, and somebody will probably help you. You can always contact Google if you have any questions, and they'll, you know, somebody will help you there too. But that is pretty much a basic breakdown of exactly how to use your Google Pixel 7. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.